What are your thoughts on Cuba? So, I've got mixed feelings about Cuba. I was actually quite sad when I left because I made, I made a friend over there and uh, I knew that I would never be able to see him again. And he was just a normal, cool guy. And um, yeah, regardless of all the scams and the people trying to scam you and the communism and all of that stuff, there are good people there. There's also a lot of shit people there trying to take advantage of tourists and I'm against that, whether it's in Cuba or in Britain. Yep. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Cuba. Um, I think that their government should just step down. Communism never works. While they go on luxury vacations and use the money that they steal from the people, um, while they do that, their people literally suffer because it is a hell on earth. There are no normal stores where you can just buy a bottle of water. There are no, there is nothing. There's, there's a gas crisis. There's a water crisis. There's, it just doesn't work. Nothing works over there. So it is literally hell on earth. Um, those are my thoughts on Cuba. Um, obviously, I wish uh, nothing but the best for Cuban people. And hopefully one day it can return to, well, it can become a normal free country again. Uh, on Sunday, uh, you were sat at the meetup and there was a fence, you were behind a fence. Yeah. And a couple shouted up to you, hi, we're Cuban, we want to talk to you. They, they say, hey, Kurt, a very stern manner. Hey, Kurt, I want to speak to you about Cuba. I say, oh, shit. They're going to bash me for, for some of the videos I made when I talk shit about communism or about the scammers or whatever it was. They were actually very grateful and thankful for the videos that I put out because they said to me that I exposed that situation to the world. I showed the world what it is really like there. Even if it is harsh, it is the reality. It is a harsh reality. Usually when people go over to countries like that, they go over and they want to kind of kiss ass to the locals to get views. So they'll go and make videos like, oh, look at this. This is so nice. Oh, look at these lovely beaches. I just filmed what I saw and what I experienced. Yeah. And that is literally what I saw and what I experienced. If there was a good thing that happened, I showed it, which there were good things that happened in the video. There were cool people that I came across along my journey in Cuba. And I showed that. And there were also negative things that happened. And I showed that. And um, a lot of people probably say, ah, oh, you just show the bad or ah, oh, you just show this. No, I just show what happens to me. I don't have any type of agenda when I go to a country. Um, so yeah, that was, I was, I was like, ah, oh, cool. When they said that to me, I was, I was yeah. like, yeah, that's class. Um, you've also had messages from Cubans who've either they've escaped and gone to Miami or their families did and they've grown up in Miami. Positive comments. Well, exactly like that. I think 99%, 99.9% of the positive cu comments were Cubans. Yeah. I think any normal person that has got a functioning brain can see what I saw. You don't have to steal or rob or cheat somebody to make $2. If they do that to me, imagine what they would do to some innocent tourist yeah. or a, a innocent chick that is coming over for vacation they would get her good i have no sympathy for people like that um i kind of get it and also don't at the same time because if i was in that situation i was brought up correctly not to scam people for your money mm -hmm. even if i was brought up in cuba and that's where you got your hatred for sandwiches that's correct and there's a reason for it because that's what is All available. All in Cuba yeah. is to eat and sandwiches. spaghetti and tomato sauce. Cuban food is the worst food on planet Earth. And I don't want to hear anything about, oh, but you've got to try this food, the, the Cuban food in my... That's not Cuban food, that's just food in America made by Cubans. I'm talking about Cuban food in Cuba is horrible. Please do not talk to me about Cuban cuisine Maybe back in the days, before communism, there was some type of cuisine. 
But I'm talking about now. Cuban food is horrible. You also told me it's a massive country. And it is massive, farmland. Yeah. It doesn't look that big. Yeah, and it's, um, it's ready to, to be used to grow stuff. It's all just empty, yeah. The government should be literally paying farmers to grow food to give to the people so they don't starve. So they've just expropriated all of the land from private owners um, when they took over, when the communists took over. They took the land and now the land's just sitting there. I even took a taxi from Santiago to Holguin and the taxi driver was telling me that um, before Castro, there was a whole bunch of factories and he was pointing them out in the distance and he showed me that silo and he showed me that power line, um, factory and he showed me this and he showed me that and he said, those were all functioning. As soon as Castro took over, they just stopped working. The government took control, took it into their hands and it just broke down and stopped working. Um, so I've seen it with my own eyes. Anybody who says communism works has never been to a communist country. They've okay. never spent more than 24 hours in a communist country. And if they do believe it works, I urge them to go to one of those countries and spend a month there. And then we'll see how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. So um, my partner, Tanya, she was born in the Soviet Union. She's old enough to be born in the Soviet Union, as would I have been. Her family have spoken to me about what communism was like. They have the same view as us. It is disgusting. Everybody is poor. Everybody is starving. You cannot buy anything. The queue every time there's bread is so long that the people at the back don't get the bread. You can't buy shoes. There's just a random delivery of shoes and you buy shoes that aren't the right size. Does that sound good to you? Well, my dad was born in East Germany yeah. and he told me these stories when I was growing up about how he used to have to wait in line for a piece of butter and a piece of meat in the cold. Um, and it sounds good on paper. Everybody is equal. Everybody gets this. You all get equal. This. When in fact, when, it is, when it's put into practice, it never works out that way. Because we're humans, right? And we as soon ambition. as there is a human... We have ambition. Yeah, and we have ambition. That is human nature. So as soon as there is a human in power, he's going to abuse that power. So nobody ever ends... It doesn't end out being equal. It sounds good on paper. Everybody gets this, you get free food, you get free healthcare, you get the... It doesn't work. It's never worked. And it will never work. Never. Um, uh, I went to Cuba on a two-week package holiday, let's say 10 years ago, something like that, to a nice beach, nice hotel, all-inclusive, all the staff were well-fed and so on. I went to the private beach and then I walked off, to, I just went for a random walk, and a fisherman pulled me up, flew in English with an American accent, and he said... I don't want your money. Can you just hear me out? And I was like, yeah, of course. He went, every day when you use your toothpaste and you use your shower gel, they replace it. Yeah. And he went, can you bring me the used ones? Like the bit you And I was like, why? And he was like, I can't afford to buy them. I'm a doctor and I have to fish for food. That and he explained insane. the whole situation to me. And I was like, I'll bring you everything, mate. I started bringing the stuff out the fridge. I was like, there you go, mate. Um, I did that for two weeks, just giving him all these toothpaste and all these shower gels. Insane. It's ridiculous that a doctor would have to do that. He was fishing, so he didn't have to buy food. And you got OnlyFans girls, 19-year-old OnlyFans girls that earn more than a Cuban doctor. It is. It's an unfair world out there.